In this video tutorial I'm going to show you the event calendar module. A good reason for having an event calendar is um, it can keep your users up to date with what you're doing but the real benefit is is that if you have other users in your organization such as if you're a sports club or if you're a business they can submit ev events as well and you being the admin um, can approve if those events can go on the website. Um, so here's what it looks like. I'm just using Sustainable Manawa 2 as the example. So here's their upcoming events. When you click on the event, it shows you know what day it's on, what time it starts, extra information, and you can also click on that link to go off and find out some more information. Another really nice um, feature of the event calendar is that it can email people to tell them that an event is happening. So let's go into the back end and have a quick look. Most of it's actually done on the front side of things, but I'll show you what the back end looks like anyway. So if we go into the E107 admin area, then go down to the bottom of the page and click on event calendar. There's a number of settings you can set up here, such as events can be added by members or by anyone for that matter. In this case, it's just members. Um, the people who can administrate the calendar is presently admins, but if you had staff within an organization, you could have just them managing the events. And there's a lot of other features that you can turn um, on and off, but we set all those up for you by default anyway. You can also create categories. Uh, so Sustainable Manawa 2 need a number of different categories for events, such as building, business, education, um, to show all the different events that are happening in, in those areas. And we can see forthcoming events here. This is just what shows up on the forthcoming events page. The maintenance area um, means that we can remove old posts and stuff like that. So I'll go back into the main area and I'll create an event. If I go to calendar and then I click on enter new events now because I'm logged in I can see this if I wasn't logged in I wouldn't be able to so I go enter event and let's make it happen um, what's the date today today's date is December 7th so we'll make it happen tomorrow and I'll make it an all-day event and you can even make it recurring as well if it happens every year, but I won't do that. I'll call it Bryn event, and I'll put it under the category of business. Location, let's go 93, Tiki Street. And then you can just add some text in there. Some text goes in here to describe the event. And then you can also link it off to a website. So I'll just go and copy Spinning Planets link up here. Copy. And then put it back to there. And um, I'll leave the contact email as Margie. And then we go enter new events. And because I'm logged in as an administrator, it actually goes straight in there. So I can click on and we can see that event. That's how easy it is to use.